Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Oh, welcome back to our Let's Play of The Longing. I see something growing on the ceiling. Maybe I'll find a good spot to cultivate mushrooms down here. Look at that. So not much time has passed because... Oh, we're still mining. Um, so yeah, not much time has passed because I recorded one episode of something. And it looks like we only... Um, it wasn't a very bit deep staircase here that we mined out. Looks like we just went down a little, and then we're continuing over here. So that does maybe change things about what we want to do this episode. The initial idea was to travel to the spider web. But maybe we finish this and then travel up that way. This is cool. The mushroom thing is very cool. Hold on. I want to get that because I know we have 49 coal, and I want an even 50. Thank you. And I also want to see here. Oh, fine. I'll get 51. Uh, can I actually harvest these yet? It, they look kind of harvestable, but I'm glad it's cool that we're, like, making mushrooms now. I mean, he can only go so far to the right, I assume, because this is the entrance, right? Let's find out. Maybe this is just a tiny little mushroom harvest area. Yeah, so let's let's change the plans. Let's see what we can mine out here, and if if it turns out he needs to turn around and mine another staircase down, we'll li we'll leave. But because I don't think this is going to take a whole long time to mine this, we're just going to do it. And then we're going to go up to the spider web. That's my plan. Uh, and it's funny, the game that I decided to record in between episodes was Starmancer. Uh, and the Star Starmancer right now, uh, I guess the only way you can play it is the demo version, and uh, which is fine. But... Uh, and it's cool, but the apparently the save functionality isn't in there yet because it's like, oh, you get 60 minutes to play, six game minutes, not real life minutes, but game minutes to play. And um, it doesn't let you, it, I guess it just assumes that you're going to play it all in one session. So you can't save it. So I just have it paused and it's minimized running in the background. So fortunately, The Longing is not a very um, resource intensive game. And I don't think either is Starmancer at this point. So... This is fine. I can have two games going at once. The last episode, we talked about my computer specs. They're good enough to run these two particular games at the same time. Um, and then I'll have to just go back and play more Starmancer after we're done with La Longing. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, huh. We're all, we are widening out here. But I wonder how far we're going to go. This is interesting. We got more mushroom harvesty area. How far to the right are we going to go? We got the same shape. The same concave shape here. Uh, yeah, pick it up. Yeah, 52 coal. Look at those mushrooms. Yeah, I can really see that. These, I just thought these were little wedges coming out, but now this actually looks like mushrooms. That's cool. Huh. I guess this is just a mushroom harvest area. And I really want the right side here to stop and just like the top and bottom to move. That would make me feel comforting about how much time we have left to Matic here. Hmm. I think think we might be done with the mushrooms. I think they stop here. Maybe. Maybe not. No, I see more pink. Purple. Lavender. Uh, but it's also interesting that the floor here has an edge to it. Has a side. That's not something we've seen in the rest of this floor. The, the rest of this map area. Oh, yeah. It looks like these are more stairs down, doesn't it? Looks that way to me. All right. Well, we'll finish this part. We're not going to mind the stairs. We're going to go up. But, man, we can really make our room, our room big. Three floors, at least. Pretty crazy. What can we do down there? 
I wonder if we maybe that's how we find gold and get gold coins. Man, if only we had had a Matic earlier. That didn't break. That I didn't break immediately. <laughs> um. All right, now this room is starting to get bigger. Still, because I know we have to mine down more stairs and then probably a whole bunch more. I kind of want to finish this room before we go to the spider. It can't be too much bigger. We stopped traveling over to the right. Uh, the upper level entrance is right here. Like this should be stopping soon. Is the shade moving at all? Is he in place? I think he is slightly moving. Yeah, he is. This seems like the perfect spot for my very own mushroom garden. Time is passing by pretty quickly. Five to six seconds per tick. Per second. <laughs> and I wonder if that's because of partially because of these mushrooms and how big the the lair is. All right, come on, Shade. Still going here. Yeah, I just want to I want to finish this part. I don't want to have to come back and mine this out before going to do this. It would be nice to end an episode mining this down. I mean, we're going to have to spend time mining it down and then probably spend the... Probably idle while going further left. That will probably be what takes the most time. I don't know. Although over to the left, there were like stairs down to the left and then down to the right. Oh, man. This room is much bigger than I thought it was going to be. I was like, oh, stairs. It's got to be at the end of the room. We got more glowy mushroom stuff up here. We'll make it up to the spiders. I'm pretty, to the spider, I'm pretty sure. And be able to see some new stuff this episode. Even if it goes a little long. But yeah, I think this was a slight waste of the time that I idled. Maybe not. Beautiful mushrooms. Uh... Hmm. I mean, the map's not moving, right? So he, he can only go this far. Like, that's the max. Unless all of a sudden everything just, like, just shifts cinematically. Oh, we got mushrooms on the floor now. Huh. It's nice. If I was going to be in a cave, this would be a lovely cave to be in. Uh, you see, it flickered up here. You saw that, right? All right, a little shade. All right, this is definitely taking longer than I thought it would. We're nine and a half minutes in. Okay. But I can use the matic here? Okay, good, good, good. Granite. Great. Can we? Yeah, we can harvest a mushroom. Can I? Yes. Excellent. Oh, and grow mushroom. More mushrooms are grow the faster they seem to go. 
Can I grow more? Huh. Is there more, are there more places that we can grow mushrooms or is it just that one, just that one little spot? Okay, but we picked one up. That's cool. All right, here we go. To the spider. Let's go. Cool. Unexpected. Unexpected, nice surprise. This is where we would put a bed. We just need one more piece of wood to do it. Man, time's moving so fast down here now. I'm afraid we're not going to have... I, sh I, I shouldn't have spent so long in between episodes. It seems like we still have a lot of time, but things happen. I'm, you know, I wasn't expecting to have to take a whole week off. It's a good thing that we didn't have the shade, like, end up in our lair when, uh, when my power and internet went out. All right, so this is going to take a little bit. I think you just use coal to make a fire, right? I've never used wood to do that. I'm pretty sure. I think it's just like four coal or something. I could be wrong. I like how we hear it when we're by it. The flow. Hopefully that's loud enough for you to hear the, uh, the water flow when we walk by it. All right, uh, it'll take a little time. I don't think it's going to take, like, 30 minutes or anything. Pitter pat. At least we get some change of scenery here. Oh, so, let's see. We talked about music a bit. Um... Although I've been listening, I, I mentioned that I really like folk music. Lately, I've been listening to a lot of Harry Nilsson. Um, and if you don't know Harry Nilsson, highly recommend checking him out. Not not a folk musician, um, kind of a kind of a he's kind of his own thing. He kind of um, he crosses genres. He for sure crosses many genres. Like he's got he's got an album. He's got just albums that are, I guess, rock albums, sort of, um, or some version of rock. But then he has like an album that's almost like a, like a, an old cinema score. He's got an album that's uh, like a children's story uh, with songs. He's got uh, some very like high concept albums, um, and songs that he wrote that you probably know are like uh, one, like one is the loneliest number. Um, Spaceman, not space. Wait, is it Spaceman? Is it or uh, how's it go? It's uh, uh yeah, yeah, Spaceman. I wanna be a spaceman. Um, and then uh, I can't live. You know, I can't live. Uh, I'm not. I'm not doing that right. I'm. I'm. It's very difficult when you're recording and put on the spot. But uh. If living is without you, yeah, I can't give. Uh, and he did, um, uh, and I think how I found, when, the first thing I ever knew him by was uh, uh, Echoes of My Mind, the like the song from Midnight Cowboy. Uh, amazing song. Uh, he's got ton tons and tons of amazing songs. Um, very eclectic. Highly recommend. Anyway, I've been listening to him a lot. But uh, I said when we played next, we should probably start thinking about like uh, other other topics of conversation, uh, like cinema or literature or art. Um, so I guess we can talk about. I mean, the episode is like we don't have all that much time. We could start talking about. Uh, you know what? Cinema is too big a conversation. Let's talk about art. That's a short conversation for me because I'm not very well versed in the visual arts uh no visual arts is the wrong word in like um in traditional uh art media like painting and drawing and such um i like magritte Rene magritte he's always been one of my favorites um i had to do uh a scene in college i was a theater major in college and uh, 
I had to do a scene in a directing class um, that was based on a painting, and I did uh, I did a scene based on one of Magritte's The Lovers paintings, um, and I, I still think about that scene. It was great. That's like my one of my proudest moments in uh, uh, in school, and uh, I really like him. I like all his stuff. Like I've gone to see Magritte exhibits and stuff, but. And I guess I generally like that kind of surrealism. Um, I appreciate other things. I'm not super into... Um, I mean, I like I like all kinds of... I don't know. I like modern art, too, but I appreciate the classics. I don't I can't talk about this. I'm not... I don't know enough. I took one art class in college. I took no art classes in high school. Never took an art history class. Um... I did work at a museum for a while in college, like as a, uh, we had a museum on campus and I worked there as like a, at the, as a clerk basically, but I don't know anything. Stop asking me. I don't know why I brought this up, but I like Magritte. Um, oh, and, uh, Max Ernst. That's another surrealist that I like. Um, I told you this would be a short conversation. Yeah. Like, I know things. I know some, I know artists. I know things. I just don't know enough that I feel good, comfortable talking about it. Like, there are people that know so much more than I do. Um, and it's not something that I spend a lot of time seeking out or learning about. But, you know, I guess I'm well-educated enough from a liberal arts school where I, I should know uh, a baseline, and I know a, I know a baseline. I have a baseline knowledge of of art media uh, and art history, I suppose. I guess I'm the kind of guy that when I find myself at an art museum, I end up reading all the things. Like I don't just, and I don't. Not that I think I'm like special for doing this. I may, I hope that this is most people, but I find myself, you know, reading all the placards and then like. Oh, that's really cool. And then looking more stuff up on my phone. Um, yeah. Rather than just like going from painting to painting. Be like, oh, yeah, I like that. That looks nice. Hopefully most people do that. I think they probably do. I don't know. I think I, I tend to have a... I think when I was a little kid, I used to have a very high opinion of myself. I used to... Uh, and I think that comes from just like, you know, growing up with privilege and parents, the kind of parents that always, you know, tell you you're special and stuff like that. Um, and like getting good grades in elementary, in elementary school, you know, without studying, which is a bad, bad habit. Um, it doesn't transfer to when school is actually difficult. Um, and so I always had a high opinion of myself, which was unmerited. And then at a certain point in my life, I kind of accepted had to learn how to accept mediocrity, right? And that's that's been a journey. Uh, and, you know, and be like, yeah, there are lots of people better. Like, there's always going to be someone better at everything than I am. And, like, even on average, like, there are going to be, like, there's tons of things that people are just better than me at. And I need to understand what I'm not good at. And even the things that I think I'm good at that are my strengths aren't necessarily that strong compared with a lot of other people. And that's, that can be a hard thing to accept when you grow up with uh, that sort of um, self-confidence. Uh, but now, um, it's, it, that's, that, I mean, that's all true. And I still try hard to, ex to like, uh, accept my own mediocrity. But what's difficult but no, not what's difficult. What's mixed with that now is, especially living in this era, in this country, like you see, like I, I used to, in that like time where I've kind of like tried to accept my mediocrity, you kind of have to accept like people, like you have to respect people as human beings. Like every person has their own journey, uh, is has their own knowledge um, and has had their own form of education one way or another. And, you know, you kind of have to, you try to treat people with respect and 
and and respect their intelligence and education. But now <laughs> there's so many terrible people that are just making choices that are just did the game freeze up a little bit? Yeah, it did. Uh, choices that are just just wrong, um, just factually, scientifically wrong. Um, and people in this country are so dumb. I don't think we needed to go this way, did we? I think the way that we told them to go was not... Uh, maybe this is right. I don't know. Um, it's really hard to not be like most people are idiots. Because that's also true. It's true that, and maybe this is that maybe this is a really big self burn. But most I, most people are better than me at most things. But also, most people are idiots. <laughs> like they they just they are. Um, things can't get the way they've gotten if people weren't not just idiots, but just selfish, terrible people. Um, and I'm not saying that I'm, I mean, everyone selfish to an extent. Is this, uh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Stop. I don't think that's where we want to stop. Stop. The spider was down here, right? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Maybe this is right. Yeah. The, okay. I think this is right. I think the spider we found over here and he was gonna, yeah, there's the spider. And look at this web he's made. We're going to climb this. It's been 21 minutes, almost 22. Um, but we're going to spend the last, you know, few minutes doing some new exploration here. Do please climb this web. So instead of talking about art, I mainly talked about mediocrity. Thanks, spider friend. Oh, he said what I said. Can I collect this web? No, 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 no. I didn't, uh, I thought maybe this web part. I love that he said, thank you, friend, after I said, thank you, friend. Climb it. Yeah, go, do it. Climb the web. That's a strong web, isn't it? All right, let's see what we can see. Ooh. More mushrooms. This is another mushroom area. Huh. Okay. This is a mushroom level. A uh, mushroom level. Episode. A mushroom heavy episode. And we will harvest it. A mushroom. I will hand it. Ooh. We could eat it, but... Look how nice this is. We get light. What a lovely fungal sprouting. Oh, um, okay. I guess I'll just carry it. Rather than eating them all. Oh, I can grow one. I think I don't want to eat them so much. <laughs> uh, I can grow again. I think we grow when it says to grow, but having this light is so good. We'll grow one here. Um, I think I'm going to save this spot. Um, yeah, let's save it here. Cool. But it would be nice to always carry a mushroom around with us, wouldn't it, for the light? There are mushrooms everywhere. I assume we can, yeah, we can grow here. I, I'm hoping that that's how mushroom growing works like you plant and maybe multiple come up pick it up 
Oh yeah, we'll grow that. And then we'll pick up this last one and just carry it. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to grow it. We're just going to carry it. This is so nice. Um, Let me take a quick look at the map here. Where's my map? There you are, map. Zoom in. And... All right, I see. So to the... Ooh. A lot of stuff to the left. To the right is a dead end. Um, so let's go to that dead end. I see some cool stuff to the to the left. Whoops. No, go here. I think what we're going to do is explore all the way to the right here. And then next episode, do more exploration. So the, our base will have to be... Uh, we'll be left alone for a little bit. We're not going to mine out more. We need more wood anyway to build a bed. Can I harvest coal while I'm carrying a mushroom? It looks like no. So we might end up having to eat this episode if there's something that we need to pick up, like a piece of wood. Ooh. Green mushrooms? Okay. This changes everything, doesn't it? Different colored mushrooms. I wonder if we, if the idea is you have to bring green mushrooms, like bring different color mushrooms to our base and plant, plant different ones in our base and they would get different colors. This one doesn't light up. Huh. Let's eat one. <laughs> he did not like the green one. All right, well, we don't have that nice light anymore. Do I... Yeah, all right, we'll plant it. But I have a feeling maybe the idea is to bring all these mushrooms back to our base, which I imagine would take a really long time, right? Oh. All right. Well, this is a perfect place to end the episode. Um, I am going to save this location. Um, yeah, about here. And when we come back, we'll see what we maddocked out. I enjoyed playing with you today, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.